These kids and this staff do more for me than I could ever do for them. They've been life changers to me. They care about you. You know, they're there for you. What can we do for you? We've got people that are gonna help you. They push hard and they fight every day for you. They've caught sicknesses before, before it was a problem and literally, I believe, saved his life. So we're very grateful for Children's Mercy. This time around, we've been here since December 22nd. This time we've been here since the 22nd of January. When he was born, he was born in respiratory distress and came here immediately to the NICU. We've been coming here for 11 years. He was six months old the first time we came up here. Dylan is 14 years old and he has Mobius syndrome and dysautonomia. and was there for three and a half months, and then was an inpatient for the majority of the first two and a half m years of his life. And then last year, it's like the dam broke and he's been pretty sick for a while. He was born with two soft spots open. They're supposed to be eight, so they had to go in and reshape his skull. He's working on his 16th surgery, just fixing him from head to toe. There's medicine and there's the equipment and there's all those pieces that are so important, but it's also really important to support the emotional aspects. We play bingo every Tuesday night. Um, we have a, a dog visitation program where dogs come and visit the kids. We have lots of different partnerships with different organizations in the city that help us bring really special experiences to the kids while they're here. It's nice to get out of the room and give them a fun thing to do. It takes away the stress of being here. It gives the kids something to look forward to. How are we doing tonight? Y'all ready for some bingo? Bingo. I'm surprised of what different superheroes there were. I'm not a rock star, obviously, but when I walk in that room, I feel like how I would imagine a rock star feels. And looks at you with these wide eyes, and truly you are the living version of their hero. You get that, that look, you feel energy. You honest to goodness feel energy in that room when you walk in. You having fun? Yeah. All right. So which one was your favorite? Uh, the Ghostbusters. I heard him mention that and I, I got excited. You can ask them, I was like, did he just say Ghostbusters for his favorite? Like that, I mean, it, if you could have stepped in my head and just felt how excited I was, just like a kid on Christmas morning. It truly is mind boggling to them when they see you because you are something that they see in a comic book. You are something that they see on a cartoon. Yeah. Did you fight in evil yet? Of course, all the time, right? Oh, Walker. What kind of evil do you think I fight? You don't see them with tubes and wires and rolling in, you know, in a wheelchair or the carts. You don't see them like that. You see them truly as perfect little human beings. I've been to various hospitals where, where my son was a patient. So again, I know how it feels to be a parent. We noticed some bruising and it, the bruising kept getting worse and worse and worse. And it, he had a condition called ITP where his platelet counts were very low.
he may not be around today. Not to sound dramatic, but that's the honest to goodness truth. And knowing how I felt as a father to go through such a traumatic experience like that, especially being separated where I just, I couldn't do anything. I, I, I felt helpless. You never know when you will need someone like Children's Mercy. We've been in a situation where we didn't have a neck doctor and we searched. I mean, we've been sent to Iowa and we tried to go to St. Louis. It's so close to home, being that we live in Blue Springs that we don't have to travel to St. Louis or, you know, somewhere farther than, you know, the metro area. So I said, do you have a recommendation of somebody? And uh, at the time, we weren't aware that there was a specialist here. And this is where he referred us to, and this is where we've been. There's times when Dylan has emergency situations that need emergency surgery, and he's so little that a lot of the hospitals don't have the tools to perform the surgery. So, I mean, if we weren't here, at close to Children's Mercy, we'd have to be like probably Boston or Columbia or someplace that, you know, that has um, those facilities. It's an amazing place to know that we can get all of our doctors in one place. The nurses are amazing. We are known for the care that we provide um, and I think that's what makes us a special hospital. You know that when you come here you're going to be taken care of. One way or another they're going to find a way to take care of you and they're going to try to offer you the best support that they can in the best way that they know how. It's not just us that come in costume, there's so many other faces that we may not recognize every day that they wear those green vests in here and they give of their time through whatever it is that they're doing and those people to me are the real heroes. Those are the ones that are taking time out of their day. They're not looking for any attention or anything. They're coming to help this staff, these families and those kids have a better life when they're in here even if it's just a temporary stay.